Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 seven customer support. Don't miss keys fan mega discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description, add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hey people, I'm back again with another new video here today in this video. We'll be taking a look at a new WinLater 7.1 update. In fact, this is not the official update. It is a modified version of WinLater with the updated new features. So go to releases. We'll be taking a look at the WinLater 7 latest version, which has a lot of improvements, a lot of changes, and new updated drivers, which I'll be showing you guys in today's video. But before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. Okay, now let's head over to settings section. One of the big improvements in this update is Wine 9.3. By default, it's set to 9.3 version. Here they updated new box 86 and 64 versions, set to the latest versions, or you can leave them as default. Set both box 86 and 64 presets to performance. And here there are a few more options like Logcat Info and PRoot Mini. These are basically not necessary options, so ignore them. All right, guys, it's time to create container. So add new container, set resolution, Always prefer lower for better performance. Select Wine version to 9.3. Set graphic driver. If you are Snapdragon, then choose Turnip. If are using MediaTek or other universal devices, then choose Vergiel version. Select DX wrapper to DXVK. If you are using Mali, then choose Wine D3D. Also make sure to set these configurations. Turnip version to latest. And also DXVK configuration to version 1.10.3. Frame rate to 120. Set device to max memory or leave them as default. Set audio driver to ALSA. Enable show FPS. Set processor affinity to all cores. It depends on your phone's chipset. Set four to max core range of power cores. And all the remaining settings are set as usual. As mentioned in my previous videos, leave the other settings as default. Make sure to enable stop services and create container. Now run the container, it starts to boot. All right, guys, it's booted. Go to start. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of new options. 3D tests for benchmarks. Game fixes option. Here we got a bunch of options, like you can set DXVK frame limit, bugs on some games, GST reduction, fix Unity games, and there are some other fixes. New input bridge support also added. On install option. We can add some required add-ons to run games like NVIDIA PhysX driver, filters, Wine Gecko installer, also, like DirectX sound, there are a lot of presets. Set DXVK versions from here itself, and you have to set these settings according to the game you render. You can set turnip drivers for both Adreno 6 and 7 series GPUs, and also VirGL drivers as well. They also fixed a lot of issues that occurred for Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Gen 2 users in this update, compared to the previous version. Also, added new environment to make the DirectX 12 games work with new VKD 3D 2.12. You can also install the DirectX drivers based on your requirements from here itself. Coming to programs. On game section, they added new games like cards, free cell, and others. Hope they add 3D pinball game in next update as well. Here we got some system tools and basic tools like calculator, drawing board, and blah, blah, blah. And they also added React OS app store as well. Oops, no file found. Uh, uh, yes, all right. And okay, these are the main programs. On registry, you can able to fix a lot of graphical issues while on gaming. Like you can set shader limit. GStreamer also set max GL version up to 4.6 if you are on to latest game titles. Multi sampling pixel shader mode. You can also set different renderers like Vulkan, OpenGL or GDI. And there are some other couple of settings. You will be bit confused while setting these. And system tools as usual from the same version. Let's check out 3D tests, cube map. If remember, these tests actually used to be on box 64 droid emulator, which is pretty old emulator. I think we locked to 120 FPS in the video beginning. Okay, still, 
You can even expect more FPS more than 200 to 300 with this test. Based on DirectX 9, and other WinLater screen settings. These are same as usual, like you can get inbuilt controller, task manager, and so on, so things. Here we got some extra options, like you can rotate screen, P-Root mini shell, and PIP mode, guys. This is actually pretty good if you are more onto multitasking. And one more thing you need to install NVIDIA Fi's X driver for better support on most of games. Here I will set some things. Here I'm going to test NVIDIA's intensive G-Sync DirectX 11 demo. Have a look. Anyways, that's it for today's video guys, hope you liked. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you guys, ta-da!